That breaking news comes from inside the federal courthouse where former city council members Katrina Brown and Reggie Brown have been sentenced to prison. The two, who are not related, were convicted last year of crimes growing out of a federal loan and a city grant for a barbecue sauce business owned by Katrina Brown's family. Federal prosecutors say this was a long-running, well-thought-out and intentional fraud that cheated taxpayers. The defense for both politicians asked the judge for leniency for probation with no prison time, citing health problems, financial hardship, and the fact neither of the two has a prior criminal record. News 4 Jacks reporter Joe McLean was in court for the sentencing, and he's joining us live. Joe. Yeah, this was a long, a complicated case, a lot of mitigating factors. As you said, both defendants were asking the judge for mercy, and they they sort of got it. Today, the sentence was handed down. Here are the details. Katrina Brown, according uh, the judge says Katrina Brown will spend 33 months in federal prison. That is two years and eight months. After that, she'll be on five years probation, during which uh, she won't be allowed to, to open any new lines of credit or make any kind of big purchases uh, without the permission of her probation officer. Uh, she also has to pay back more than $425,000 in restitution. Now about half of that is gonna go to the city of Jacksonville. The other half is gonna go to Biz Capital, one of the big investors in this, uh, in this case. Now, Reggie Brown, he was sentenced to 18 months in prison and then a three-year supervised probation. He also has to pay uh, pay restitution. He's paying $411,000, more than $411,000 in restitution. Again, half of that is going to, about half of that is going to go to the city of Jacksonville, the other half to uh, Biz Capital. Now, the judge said the two did not show real remorse during the course of this trial and sentencing. That was factored into this uh, sentence. Um, it was also, uh, she, she said this was a sophisticated and deliberate act of fraud. The judge also said this was not a case of public corruption. She said not a case of public corruption because she said the two defendants never used their office to benefit this scheme or benefit themselves. Uh, the judge added that uh, she considered several of those mitigating factors I mentioned, including their lack of any criminal history, also their history of public service. Uh, so the, all of those were factored into arriving at this sentence, which was less than what federal prosecutors were asking for. After uh, the sentence was over, both attorneys told us they are going to be taking advantage of any appeal options. Take a listen. Uh, our biggest concern is we feel like uh, Ms. Brown's entitled to a new trial because of some of the errors that were made, and we're uh, anxious to have an appellate court take a look at that. Uh, but in the meantime, we, uh, of course, accept the judge's decision on sentencing. So we're gratified that the judge decided this was not a crime of public corruption. She was took into consideration all the numerous mitigating factors that were presented yesterday in the courtroom and went significantly beneath the sentencing range. We're gratified of that. And you heard both of those attorneys expressing gratitude to the judge for going below what the federal recommended guidelines for uh, this sort of uh, string of crimes. Uh, they were both uh, said they were gratified, but also going to, uh, they said they're planning to uh, utilize their appeal options. Uh, now, Reggie Brown's attorney spoke for him after this. We didn't hear from Reggie, but we did hear a little bit from Katrina and what she's planning to do after her sentence is served out. I'll have that coming up on News for Jacks at 6. Reporting live, Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.